I'm Teresa Dufour with today's CT Style Express. Many of us have been spending plenty of time at home and we've realized we need some updating to our homes. Here with more on lighting control and automated shading are the specialists from Castle Hill Audio, manager David Allen, along with expert Holly Andrade and owner John Maselli. Guys, thanks so much for joining us. Nice to see you all. Good morning. Too. How are you? We're doing terrific. So first off, give us an overview of what Castle Hill Audio is all about. I know you guys are located along the shoreline. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, we do AV systems for homes. We do a lot of lighting control, shading control, which we're going to talk about today. Mm -hmm. And we're finding that not a lot of people are well versed as far as how they can control the light coming into their house as well as the light that's within it. Um, we're working with a lot of coastal homes, so we're finding that they're just getting blasted with the sun coming through. It's not that it's a bad thing, right. but in the summertime, you need to get a little control on it. So or, we figured we'd bring Holly in today, and she can talk about that a little bit. Yeah, this is pretty exciting, Holly. I thought it was just a remote control, and the shades go up, the lights go up, but it's a lot more than that, all different sorts of controls. Yeah, and it can really be whatever the homeowner is most comfortable with. So it could be something that lives on the wall. It could be something that happens automatically through times of the day. So if we have a spot um, on the shoreline where we do get a lot of glare coming in or a lot of heat gain as the sun is really high in the sky and reflecting off the water, we can have those shades automatically come down so that we're really protecting our furnishings and making sure the space is comfortable, whether we're watching TV or reading a book or whatever we might be doing at the moment. But then we can control it through things um, like you mentioned, Alexa, different voice control, our voice assistants, uh, app controllers, really um, a myriad of different ways that we can customize it to whatever is most comfortable for the homeowner. I mean, you could do it by your voice, right? You could just say lights on, blinds up, and it's as easy as that? Yeah, you can You can really get nitty really gritty with it too. And, you know, you can play around with it and say, okay, dim the lights to 17% or put the shades at 46, you know, whatever is best for you. Or you can kind of play with it a little bit to see um, just how smart these systems really can get. Yeah, um, and can you do this in older construction or do you have to do, do this in a new house while you're building? It can be applied to a variety of different um, construction type projects. So we can do uh, shades that are wired for power um, or also battery operated depending on our construction uh, constraints the type of the shade that they would like to have applied to the window. Um, so we really are able to apply that type of solution to a variety of different spaces. Sure, and I'm, I bet you can get creative with this, like changing the light colors or setting timers, uh, right? I mean, you could automate yeah, that's becoming, Right, and that's becoming really popular. We were just talking about this as people are getting more in tune with, like you mentioned, just how they're using their space. You know, maybe the light that you're using in the kitchen when you're first getting your first couple cups of coffee, you might want to help you, um, or you might want it to be a little bit more dim and low so you're not quite blasted with really bright white light just yet. Um, but then we can shift, you know, the same lights in the kitchen can be bright and white at, at noon and again, kind of dim down to settle down for dinner and be warm and comfortable. So tons of different opportunities to to customize your space. Yeah, I would say. And John, you guys have been pretty busy during the pandemic, haven't you? I mean, people have been home and realized this is yeah. a great time to do these projects. It, it, yes. it, it has been like that. We've been noticing a lot of people because they've been working from home. Mm -hmm. they, they're starting to take notice of their house at different times of the day. And they're like, man, I didn't realize the light was blasting in here as bad as it is while I'm sitting at my desk and they need to tame that a little bit. Plus two, they're finding out that they want a little bit more stuff going on in their homes. Right. They, they're happier having some automated music, maybe some automated lighting control. And they're also starting to now branch out where they're not going everywhere. They're starting to find that they want to spend some more time in their backyards and whatnot, which is another thing we do lighting for. Sure, that makes sense. And so, David, do you guys have a, a long wait list or is this a project we can get started on right away? Um, how can no, people can, get a hold yeah, of you guys? We're, we're pretty available. I mean, we're busy, but we're available. Okay, great. Um, uh, and what's the, the first step? Sorry? I, what would be the first step? Someone kind of comes up with this idea that they want to do and then they meet with the professionals and then uh, you guys take it yes. from there? Yep, they just give us a call. We set up an appointment to come look at, at, the, at the home or business mm -hmm. and then we work from there. 
Well, that sounds fantastic, guys. Thank you so much. Who wouldn't want their home automated by their voice? It sounds great to me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> sounds great. You can learn more over at CastleHillAudioVideo.com. That is your CT Style Express. I'm Teresa Dufour. We'll be back here tomorrow. Have a great day.